Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install WebStorm in your PC. All you have to do, you have to search here WebStorm. Let me show you WebStorm, okay? IDE. Hit enter and you will find something like this. Here you can see, just click here the first link and then you will find this page and just click here download and it will be actually start downloading. I already downloaded this, so I'm not going to download it once again. Let me go to the installation process directly so let's go to the downloads folder here you can see and here i got it web strong so double click on it now click here next then click here next and let's select this because i want because you want a shortcut right in the desktop so select it and now create associations let's say dot js because we are installing this for javascript so select it and update the path so let's say add it so just select it so that we don't need to actually add it manually okay i mean environment variable so we don't need to add it manually if you don't check it then you have to actually add it manually like uh, you have to say here that env and then you have to go for the system environment variable and you have to add the variable so we have checked all the necessary things now let's go for the next and click on installation and it will be actually start installing the id so guys here you can see we have completely installed this now select run and then click here finish and it will actually start here you can see it's opening here we go and now if you want to go for the customization i mean if you want to change the theme and all the things you can actually change it from here and then you can change the font size also so go with 18 okay and that's it now let's go for the project and by clicking here a new project you can actually work in a new project so just select the location where you actually want to save all the project let's say in this case i'm going to select the uh, downloads now if you want to create a new folder you can select your new folder and then name it let's say tasty i mean so edit select folder and now everything is done here it's a create all right 